Hello, my name is Jaleese. Welcome to the JJ Move T Social Games, everybody. And I'm going to give you my review of Digimon Adventure Tri Reunion, the English version. This officially came out on Blu ray DVD. Got it today. Uh, watched the uh, English version and Japanese version. Yup, it comes in two pack. And I gotta say this this is gonna be a rant. English version is shit compared to the Japanese version. And most people said, well, that's a given. Well, to me, I prefer more the English movies, uh, Jap the English movies of Digimon than the Japanese versions, more or less. Not to say the Japanese versions were any good. I just prefer it because English they had a mixture of comedy, and there was a there is a big difference between the English Digimon and the Japanese different. There is a big difference. While Japanese have this not a different tone, and there's the more serious thing and. Yes, it's good for the kids, but how it's just like two different cultures clash of Japanese and American. And the thing is, though, with the you see this English one for like the old Digimon films, they are enjoyable as shit. Japanese version, awesome as shit. When I saw Digimon Tri Reunion, Japanese version was A plus storytelling. I loved it. My second favorite Digimon film. To this day, I mean, that reunion blew it out of the park, in my opinion. But, um, the American version of it, I'm going to be honest with you. They did a very, very lazy job. I guarantee you, the person who directed this, who made this thing, thing who made this uh, movie, for the American side, they did not even watch the original version of the shows. Why? You know the old man, Jedi? Yeah, that's how they pronounce his name, Genai, in the freaking um, series. His name is Genai in the movie. Genai. They pronounce his name Genai, not Genai. Okay, what else? Um, The fact, here's the thing. What made Digimon so much different from the American version, Japanese version, is like these little moments. And people call this nitpicking, but it's not nitpicking. Because these little moments, what made Digimon... Uh, a different uh, the American version and Japanese version. For instance, when there's these long silent moments and when a character's not even moving their lips, they have like this, uh, they, they say like what, they have like a voice over what they're saying in their head. For instance, like if they're on a train and they're like resting and Mimi's thinking, my feet still hurt. And she doesn't say that, but she's thinking about that. So, and here in Digimon Tri Reunion, when, for instance, when Quagamon's attacking Tai, uh, Tai just usually stays silent during this entire time. And yes, that's usually how the Japanese version does. But since we got the original actors, since we got half the original actors from the dang Digimon uh, franchise from Adventure 1, that's in the back of me, they don't add these little moments. Like, for instance, if uh, Tai is getting chased by Guagamon, Tai half the time in the uh, series, even if it's 01 or 02, or even in the movies, he makes a short jib about something. Like, hey, Quagamon, ugly, over here. He'll make something, but it stays silent. And these little moments count. And not to mention, they had the most terrible, this is the most terrible opening for Digimon, uh, ding, ding. Um, the Digimon opening song for the English version is shit. It's pure shit. They try to do something new. Okay, I don't prefer something, I don't mind something new. But it sounds terrible. It sounds fucking terrible. <coughs> Sorry for cursing, but Jesus Christ, they really just did a terrible job with the opening song. If anything, they should just have stuck with the Japanese version of the song for that. I know what really bugs me? When, like, the first fight between the Greymon and Quagmon, you could easily hear Japanese music in the background. Some people say, well, this is the Japanese uh, dang film. The American version for the TV show. They had their own music in the background. This one, they don't even add their own American songs to it. That's what made Digimon so much different than the English version and the Japanese version. Two different cultures, again. Granted, which one's better? The Japanese version, of course. But I'm upset that they chose the English version to make a song for the opening, even though that song's crap, and they don't do it when there's a battle. Another thing, they don't say their attacks. And that was the big thing they always said. Nova Blast. Um, and a hand of fate. I mean, they, they use, they don't say their attacks. <coughs> Not really, in my opinion. Many, if they say it, it doesn't sound right. And half the actors that joined that were able that, here's the thing, what saves this film is that Ty, Agumon, and most of the cast is back. 
and also the fact is they do get across the same point in the Japanese version. That Ty is struggling uh, to move on with his life outside the Digi world, where, whether or not uh, him and his group of Digi Destins are either helping matters or making things worse. The, st the still plot line is still the same, but these moments is what kills it. I mean, if I wanted to watch the Japanese uh, version of the film, I would just watch the Japanese version. So when I see the English one, I expect a lot of differences in these little moments, and these little moments count for everything. You need to have, like, the American music in the background. You need to have these little short jits. In the freaking um, Digimon, uh, Digimon movie, uh, it was the beginning. It was when Kari and uh, Ty were little babies. And when Agumon's running around through the entire uh, dang city, and a car nearly hits him, he jumps out of the way. Japanese version says something, uh, says something different, and the American version it makes a pun out of it, like a joke, and it says, Did you see that? No, I was sleeping. But you're driving! These little moments, these comedic little moments, changes the atmosphere of the Digimon films from the English version and the Japanese version. So when you get these two different clashes of cultures, I don't mind. I, it depends which one you want to enjoy more. The Japanese version, I gave like a... Hey, it was my second favorite Digimon film. It still is. I'm glad I got the it's dual. I'm glad it's Japanese and American. American version. I gotta say, I'm gonna give it a B minus. It's a whole other grade down, or a B minus. The is the least I could. Well, it's not the least I could. Give, that's the highest I could give it. A B minus. Or and Lois is a C plus, but still. The English version shocked me of how much they really didn't do much to change. I mean, they have the original cast back. They don't allow these little moments to come back. And granted, some of the voice actors are not that great. For instance, I do not like what they would do with Kari at all. I don't like the replacement they have for Kari. I don't mind the guy that does Matt. I don't really mind the person that plays Mimi because the person that plays Mimi got more or less the character right. The person that played Joe is on and off to me and it goes off some more often on. And the, girl, the person that played Kari, mm-mm. They like the version of Corey's voice. They like the version of Gatman. So, overall, this film, the English version, is to me nowhere near as good as the Japanese version. And I grew up with Digimon American version. I'm from Chicago. I was born in 1992. Guess my age. Right then and there. I love Digimon. It's one of my favorite franchises of all time. It's my favorite cartoon show of all time. So... I saw the film. I love the Japanese version of it. Again, but the English version is pure laziness. What the what the director or whoever made this version is. They have the original actors, most of them anyway. And even if the, some of the voice actors are kind of off, it shouldn't take away from the film. But when you don't add these little moments like having American music in the background, why don't you take away some of the Japanese uh, uh, part or that little freaking stupid rap video? Like, you could cut down the audio of it. I mean, it's, I don't think it takes much edit to fix up an English and Japanese version of a dang film. To me, it doesn't, it shouldn't take that much, but apparently it does. But, honestly, I was just ultimately, ultimately shocked the English version of, of this film. I'm pure stunned. Not to say I don't love this film. I still enjoy the English version. I do. Just not as great as it should have been. Japanese version? Excellent. So my favorite second favorite Digimon film. Not the English version though. So everyone, that's my kind of short little rant of Digimon Tri Reunion. And I would recommend getting the Blu-ray and DVD version of it. Digital HD code you could get it as well. I got it for 15 bucks. So happy I pre-ordered that ahead of time. Also what you can pre-order right now. Digimon Try Determination. Blu-ray and DVD. Probably the English version. Probably not going to like that film because I didn't enjoy the Japanese version of that film either. But overall, Digimon Try Determination is coming out. Cannot wait for it. And Digimon Try Union, the English version, let's say I just say they kind of dropped the ball in, many, in these tiny little moments that add up into something big. And it just really nudges you at the end of this uh, day. But overall, Digimon Tri Union, still love the film. Don't hate it. Hate Ed. Don't care for the American version, but what can I do? Alright, everyone, named Jalee, signing off for you to everybody. 
Oh, and the comment down below. Let me know. Just respect your opinion. I respect yours. And just let me know what y'all think of this one. Did you like the English version? Did you like the Japanese version? Just let me know what y'all think of everyone. Alright, everyone. My name's Elise. Signing off.